What's up, everybody? Salvatore Sammy J, the higher plane.net, here with Il Poetic. Uh, yeah, 614 representing. This man just rocked the stage. Brother Ali, Fresh Air Tour. Here with him. Want to talk to him a little bit, man. Want to introduce people to you. Doing some good shit. Just can you tell where, where you're from. Um, Il Poetic. Uh, originally from Dayton, Cincinnati for the past nine years, and I just transplanted down to uh, Columbus, Ohio with my folks, uh, Elijah and, and, and such, the other crew members. Just um, pretty much been doing music for the past eight, eight years, uh, I guess eight years, first time on a stage eight years ago, so I Word. counted from that point. Word. So been writing since the third grade um, and just here to make music and attempt to be great before I die. Well, and here, here here's to that, man. Like, uh, to do that, you gotta gain some inspiration, and like, it, it comes from within. Oh, yeah. Where do you say, like, you get your most motivation? Is it a specific place that you go to write, or is it a mindset? How do people get in touch with that? I think it's literally, uh, it's it's all based off of life. It's it's based off of the biggest, the, the high, not being afraid of the, the highest highs and the lowest lows, and um, you using those for the best of your abilities. Uh, like you kind of got to go through the shit to get your best music, unfortunately. But it's easier to go through that shit because you know you're gonna get some good music out of it. So really, like shit, it, it changes all the time. This year, I had a shitty summer, uh, so I sat in the basement and put on records every day and closed my eyes and listened to uh, listened to a John Coltrane record for the hi hats, and then I listened to. Sun, Ohio Players, and Isley Brothers for a week just to understand Ohio uh, funk for uh, in, as in-depth as I could. Like, it's, it's just the inspiration of, of past musicians who kept going. And another one is the inspiration of musicians who had it worse than, I, than I've ever gone through anything. And if, if they can keep going, then I should probably not be a pussy and keep going. Well, and this inspiration, yeah. to, you know, if, if, and they make great shit, you know, like... Yeah, I got a lot of work to do, and the fact that the cats before us were making the most phenomenal music on the planet, uh, whether in hip hop, whether in soul, funk, punk, fucking Afro punk, indie rock, whatever, it's just there's so much music out there, and there's so much that you can do with your life and your time, and there's not time to waste with it, you know. So that's constant drive, constant driving force. How, how do you how do you adopt in your everyday life, like when you have to do your things to to get by until this like could be your everyday all day, like? How, how do you adopt that positive, is it a positive mind state? Uh, yeah, it has to be. <laughs> it has to be positive. Uh, I left my job in Cincinnati and moved up here a year ago. Like okay. a year ago this month will be my anniversary of living off of music. Uh, got a couple safety nets, you know, like right now they're kind of helping that transition. Good, got it. Really blessed for that. If it wasn't for them safety nets, I wouldn't have had this opportunity. But with that said, I'm used to having a... a a nine to five that I didn't want to be at. I'm basically I'm used to being in the matrix. And so every day that I'm not in the matrix, I take that day for every blessing it is. Um, so you know to be in front of a computer, a mixing board, recording, pushing myself to the limits I never thought was humanly possible when I had a job. I feel like that's the job now, and it's nothing better than having a job where you're designed to push your creativity far past what you ever thought was possible. And and I hear, I, you know, and I hear, I hear a lot of gratitude in, in your tone and, and humbleness, and they say that gratitude is the most powerful vibration you can emit. How important do you think it is to, to actually be grateful for every second that you're on this planet? I, 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 I mean, it's beyond, like, it being important. I think, like, it's kind of like asking how important your spine and nervous system is to your body. Good analogy. Uh, yeah, it's so... It, Arrogance is important when it's confidence. Sure. Arrogance is when you don't have the skill to match what your a confidence is. A controlled arrogance, a controlled right. cockiness. And it's important because a confidence makes your music better. It makes who you are better is because you believe in yourself. And that's cool. At the same time, like you have to have a confidence that's uh, built off of humbleness. You know, a confidence, yeah. uh, or a confidence that's built off of like, I really don't even need to be here right now. Like, every time... Uh, it, it, like one of, one of the biggest going back to inspirations like uh, my mom's disabled and that's always been a huge point of inspiration because it reminds me like I don't necessarily need to be walking right now you know what I'm uh -huh. saying like I don't sure. have to be doing anything and um like it goes back to even when I'm going through my worst point like uh -huh. how bad is it really like I'm walking you know like, how bad is it really like I'm breathing all the parts of my body work and made a breath I'm yes. cool you know and as long as I got that like I got to use that breath for the best of my ability you know and that's 
I think with like artists, the, the artists just strive to do it all times. You know, that's that's what you're here for. And it's God gave you that talent. He gave you the energy to, to work with it. Well, and he so gives it, and he gives it, it to us as a species. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. We were talking to Ali earlier, and he was saying, you know, we got to talk about the Renaissance period. You know, and oh, free thought, and like where things just it was a great time right. in human history. Yeah. There's no reason that people like us and the people like him and can't do that and bring that about for us. You know what I'm saying? And I honestly, I think this being the age of information or whatever. Uh -huh. um, I mean, there's some dangerous things to come with that. Sure. But we, we always talk about like a, a kid who's five, six, seven, eight years old right now, they don't know what a world is like without Google. Right. Like to say, I have a question. I can give you an answer in three seconds. Absolutely. Like we're still working off Dewey Decimal Systems at the uh -huh. library when we was kids. Absolutely. Like, so imagine what a kid who starts with everything uh -huh. at his fingertips. They might have a certain laziness to him because it's there already and they don't but imagine where they can for the inspired kid who already has everything at his fingertips imagine where he can go from there Absolutely. and in an age of information like you're asking for an age of renaissance and yes. to have not to get political but very thankful that like a mind like Barack Obama is leading us uh, as far as a kind of a free thinker or someone uh -huh. who thinks not so regimented and not so finds the gray area and every finds, situation. Yeah, you can tell he really understands. It. He right. gets it as a human. Yes, not a politician. He gets it. Right, right and right. like an artist gets it. You know, and it's so relieving as an artist to almost feel like an artist mentality is is helping to run this country. Yes, and um, so yeah, I, I, I really at least feel in the like, right direction. At least you know, and, and yeah. things are, and that's like what you being proactive, doing shows, being out here, like. Mm -hmm. Getting yourself out there, and like right. you know, doing the things that we're doing now, just sitting here oh, yeah. talking. That's free thought. That's positive thought, and, exactly. and, and really in a proactive way of making things better overall. And this goes. I mean, it's, this interview goes to uh, one, of, one of my favorite quotes Tupac said in the Resurrection movie. He said, "I might not spark the revolution, but I guarantee I'll be. I'll have like what is it? I guarantee I'll be the pen, or my pen will spark someone else's uh -huh. thought, something like that." And something with the internet, like. I love just going online for interviews, you know, uh -huh. and listening to like Most Def or Herbie right. Hancock or Rick Rubin, right. and they'll they'll say some shit and I really feel it. And I'm like, I really under, I really understand where he's coming from, and he doesn't even know that this interview he gave three years ago yep. is like hella inspirational to me right now. And then I think like we're giving this interview right now in real time, and yep. this is gonna go online. It's gonna upload. There's someone out there. Someone out there is gonna watch it, you know, and they might be on it way more than I ever have a chance to be. They might hear what the fuck we're talking about now and say like. Yeah, I feel him. He's almost got it. But here's what I would do. And right. it's going to click for him. And then before I know it, maybe they're the next, like, great leader. Maybe they're the Or next you great meet leader. up with him. Or you meet up with him and that law of attraction takes you to the right people. Exactly. You, you have that positive know. mindset, you attract positive people in positive circumstances. Exactly. And I, I'm a total believer, believer you know? in all that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's logic. It's like math, literally. Like it's, Absolutely. It's, yeah. Well, you know, and, and we're going to go in there, we're going to see Brother Ali, fucking cool. man, oh, yeah. you ripped oh, yeah. it tonight, you know what oh, I'm saying? Like, but well, before we go, though, I want to I want you to just have, like, you know, people who see this going to be from different okay. areas, you know, just tell them something, man. What do you feel, man? Buenos dias, hola. <laughs> I don't know, very many languages. Uh, I appreciate y'all for listening this far. I always say that at the end of my emails to people when I got to get into some deep shit. Like, thanks for making it to the point where you're reading me say, thanks for making it this far. Um, uh, shit, I'm trying to think. I got a new record coming out in a year. It's yeah. wrapping up. Tell uh, us where, where we can get it. Tell them where we can get it on uh, websites. Whatever. Right now I got The World Is Ours. Uh, that's my last full length. Um, hit me up. MySpace.com slash a poetic. And, and you can get it on a higher plane. Cool. We're going to put it up too. Cool. Definitely. Uh, Twitter, Ill Poetic. My, uh, Facebook, Twitter. Just Google Ill Poetic. Find me. I got some mashups. I got just trying to push some, some different shit. Be, take a couple you know, a couple left turns where people turn right and see what happens. And fucking be free. Enjoy yourself and love yourself. And afternoon special, the more you know. And we'll start. And the rainbow comes flying out over us. So hey, that's about all I got. Collective intelligence awesome. better than any singular. Cool, exactly. You go on the right path, man. Keep grinding. Yeah, yeah. Respect what you're doing, man. Oh, you got love at the higher plane.